So there are two ways you can do this. Uh, I'll start with the way I prefer, which is doing it algebraically, which helps in other, I think in data sufficiency as well with these types of questions. So brand A costs 50% more. So we'll do price. This is what I'm using, P as the price um, per liter. So this is dollar per liter. Uh, then brand B, so it would be 1.5 times whatever the price is of item B. And then they also tell us that um, um, if she uses brand A, she'll be able to drive two and a half times as many kilometers. So D A, D for distance, would be 2.5 times D sub B. And they want you to um, compare the cost per kilometer. Um, so the amount of oil is the same whatever that quantity is, 5 liter, 10 liter. So it will be proportional just to the price because we're using the same amount of oil. So the cost um, per <coughs> kilometer driven for A would be PA over D sub A, whereas for <coughs> B would be P sub B over D sub B. So you'll notice I have these quantities in terms of B, so I can replace those. And uh, I can simplify this, 3 fifth. So you'll see that the cost per uh, kilometer for brand A is 3 fifth, because this simplifies to 3 fifth that of brand B. That means if it's 3 fifth, that's a multiple of 0.6. And we need to answer what percent less it is. So in this case, it would be 40% less because it's 0 0.6, because this would be, um, <clears throat> if you want to write it as a percent um, difference, if you want to do it this algebraically to see, this is the price uh, per uh, kilometer driven for item A minus, because that's the reference, and we're doing percent relative to that. So you'll see that this one drops out, you'll just get a one here, becomes m minus 0.4, and that eventually gives you a 40% uh, less. That's what the negative uh, indicates. So this is one way you can do. The other is you can pick numbers. You can pick a price uh, for item B. You can say it costs $10 per liter. Then price of item A would be... Uh, <coughs> $15 per liter because it's 50% more. And then in terms of distance, we can do the same thing. Um, distance for B, you can say, um, is let's say 100 kilometer, in which case for B would be 250 kilometers. So cost per kilometer, assuming you are using the same amount, meaning if you're using five liter in both cases or 10 liter, that that wouldn't matter, but the cost per liter would be, in case of B, would be 10 over 100. Here would be 15 over 250. Um, and then we can just simplify. This is 1 10th, 350. And we're just looking at this quantity is how much less than that. So 350 is minus 1 10th. I mean, if you, I guess if you use... 10 kilometer, that would be better, but I didn't want to use such small numbers, but it doesn't really matter. It's the same. So uh, you multiply top and bottom by 10, you would get 3 fifth minus 1 times 100, and this would be 2 fifth, and the minus tells you that it's 40% lower. So you can do it with numbers. I generally stick with this approach because I know these types of questions come up in data sufficiency as well. You're comparing A and B. And so it's easier to see the relationships. And so I'm kind of used to that. But yeah, I can see this being somewhat complicated for a lot of people. But um, either way, the answer is choice B.